Hey, and welcome, everybody. Come on in and have a seat at the bar. I'm your photo happy hour bartender, Michael Mowbray, and today I'm mixing up chocolate martinis. Ew. Ooh. Ew. Froofy, yet delicious, yet intoxicating. Ooh. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like chocolate. I hate chocolate. Uh, joining me behind the bar, as you can see if you're watching this on video, are Dan Freevault and Carl Kaler. Say hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hello. 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 <laughs> you dropped the movie quote in like the first three seconds. Yeah, right? I know. That, that's a new record. It was. <laughs> on set. So in case no. you're joining. In case you're joining. Oh, and his, Carl his, peaked. His, <laughs> you know, he peaked. Yep. No, that's, that's not early for him. No, it's not he early at all. He peaks early all the time. Oh. Anyway. Oh. 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 Hey, in case you're new to the podcast, God bless you for joining us. Exactly. Um, and I'm sorry in advance. The premise of the podcast is we are three professional photographers, uh, all master photographers who have been around for a while. And we like to get together and have some drinks. And when we have some drinks, we talk about photography. And the more we drink, the more we know. And I just got done playing my golf league and I had a fair amount to drink already so hey <laughs> and I just got done Woo! photographing a whole bunch of 11 12 13 and 14 year old girls for softball it was a marathon session of buddy picture buddy picture one more one more one more oh. one more one more one more one more that'll, that'll make you drink yeah, yeah cheers so. everybody hey. look at this composition the most, though check the that most out. stressful part of that most stressful part of my day was trying to make it home in the jeep before it rained <laughs> Oh, we got rained on on the last two holes. So we got a couple, uh, and it was in thundering and lightning. So we were like, lightning. "Hit the ball!" <laughs> I'm having part my last best two game holes. ever. Yeah. I did. I part the last Red two holes fudge! playing really fast. Oh, so. sorry. Oh, <laughs> Caddyshack. Yep, there... We got a drink. Hold on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the heavy stuff's coming in for a while yet. No, <laughs> I'd keep playing. <laughs> Red farts. Yeah. Um. Anyway. <laughs> So every week we uh, we have a topic, sort of, typically, generally. Do we? Really? And this week the topic is we're talking about wardrobe or clothing consultations or are we providing clothing? Do we want do we want them to wear clothing? I believe we do. Yeah. I, yes, we do. I, I, <laughs> I've been asked to do nude photography, and I always tell them the last time I got asked to do that, they told me to put my clothes back Darn on. Right. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... Um, and I think, you know, we talk mostly about seniors because we're all senior photographers and, and we do some other things too. Um, so the first thing I'm going to ask is, do you guys do clothing consultations Absolutely. and how do you do them? Absolutely. Yeah. But how do you do them? What's, what's the whole idea behind a clothing consultation? I usually talk. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. Sorry. Actually, most of my senior ones, um, and I should, I know you, you guys do some different things, but. I, I do the clothing things on the phone um, just because it's a busy time of year for us. And Describe to me what you're wearing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, no, actually, it, it actually goes some, very, very similar to this. I say I want you to bring uh, a lot of things. Um, more is better than less, so we have options. I don't care if we take 17 trips of arm loads bringing everything in. I'll help you bring it in, but in some things we're not going to use, but at least it's here to use. It's here for options. And, but I do want to see at least one or two tops that are long sleeve, solid color that we can do some classical things and make mom and grandma happy. After that, to me, high school senior portraits is it's a time capsule. It's not about the yearbook anymore. No one gives a crap about the yearbook. I'm sorry, but they don't. Um, it's a time capsule. It's a record keeping part of what you are right now what you are about right now so i want to see if you know mom's like oh we gotta go shopping no you don't <laughs> uh in my opinion i i think just if it's dirty on the floor all the time in a room and you're yelling at her to pick it up or yelling at him to pick it up bring it because if it's stuff they wear wash all the time it before you wash bring it, definitely but yeah. absolutely <laughs> yeah. but bring it because I, I would love to have a, a a portrait of my mom in a poodle skirt but back then all it was was a drape and they said Picture one, picture two, picture three, picture four. All right, out the door and take the, tell the next, next person to come in. That was their senior portraits. I want to record keeping. I want to show what's going on in 2021. So uh, what they're wearing right now, uh, go ahead and bring. I would love, uh, and I know we're kind of talking about this a little bit uh, before that we started recording. Um, there's friends of ours that have closets full of stuff, and that would be so cool. I, to me, I would have a freaking blast with that. But the people up here don't, 
they just don't get into it. They don't want it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So to, for me in my location, my market, I want to show what, what they're into right now. So bring me what's dirty on your floor and we're going to find something to do with it. And it's going to be not photographically ex, um, exciting to all of us photographers, but it's going to be what they are and what they're about in 2021. And, and that's an important point. I mean, and we we make a lot of um, you know a lot of suggestions, a lot of tips, you know, in the for the industry. And and what plays in one market might not play in another. And I think you you hit on a couple of those things, Carl. It's like what plays in Alabama for uh, clothing isn't going to play in Northern Michigan. You know, it's no. just yeah. I know exactly well, what you're dealing with. You're dealing with you know if they had a. I was just asking a question on the senior questionnaire is if you had $500 to spend anywhere, where would you spend it? The number one place that came back for me, and I'm in lower Wisconsin, a little bit more urban, is Dick's Sporting mm-hmm. Goods. Yep, absolutely. Because that's their personality. <clears throat> There's yep. you know, a lot of athletes and a lot of casual wear, and you know maybe they want one in their prom dress, but everything else is going to be g- generally pretty casual. Yep. We haven't had a prom dress well, through here in probably five years. Well, yeah, I don't want to photograph prom dresses because <laughs> no one buys that. And it's just a waste of time for me, quite honestly. But, uh-huh. <laughs> um, so I discourage it. In, in fact, I have it as an add-on now. It's it's $75 extra if you're going to bring a prom Ooh, dress. I like that. So, <laughs> I yeah. like that. <laughs> Yeah, so things again, you don't want to do, put a price on it. Exactly. I don't Ooh. say no. <laughs> you know what? That, that yeah. might get them They'll interested. Play around the country. That might get them yeah. interested in it, though. <laughs> yeah. So. Right. Well, and and the other problem is, is I photographed a um, a girl in a prom dress a couple of years ago, and it's an awesome image. The girl looks beautiful. The dress is beautiful. So, and I love the image. So of course I put it out there, and I'm like, oh shoot! Minute I put it out there, now I'm advertising <laughs> yep. for it. So it's like, oh, everyone says I want that, you know. So seventy five dollars. Uh, you, you, you made me think of something that you can do. I'm going to give you a suggestion. Yes, I like it. Um, yeah. So remember when we were photographing Annie Marie Mm -hmm. or recording her for SU Insiders and she has her style closet and Mm -hmm. what she does. And I think Joyce Wilson used to do this as well. Mm -hmm. Pulling out a name from the 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 past past here. Wow. Uh, But (laughs) it's like one for me Me and one one for thee. thee. Right. Is that how her? her, One for thee and one for me. Yep. Yeah. So what Annie does is, you know, she photographs everyone and she's in Minnesota. Minnesota. You know, Minnesota. Yes. The Midwest. But, you know, you get the traditional stuff. You get what they want and everything. But it's like, okay, now would you, especially once they're warmed up and they're like, yeah, I'm having fun and they trust you. It's like, okay, I have something. Put this on, do this, blah, blah, blah. And it's not for them to order or anything. It's something creative and that you can do. And yeah. then maybe that will take off or at least it's something that can feed your creative soul. And, and that's a really good idea. That's a really yeah. good idea. It, it may, it may be think of that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And actually and for me I'm, personally, it's funny. You mentioned I've always tried that. to do that in sessions anyway, from a, even if it's not a wardrobe a thing, theme. but from a posing and lighting standpoint, yeah. it's like a posing the, thing. I would do it. Get the yeah. safe uh-huh. stuff, and then it's like, okay, now we're going to do what I want to do. Absolutely. And I yeah. don't, I don't tell them that, but I just that's where I take them to. Oh right. Yeah. And I, I'm the same way, but I thought that was kind of eye opening. I'm like, oh yeah, Annie, that's a good, that's a good point, you know. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. You know, get just cheap dresses from. It was funny. Sure. I was like cruising around in Amazon looking at like dresses and stuff, and I'm like, hey. That's a dress that Annie photographed when we did SU Insiders, <laughs> and oh, I sent her a message. Yeah. I found your dress. It's oh, like no $20, $20 See, or something. And like, it's funny yeah. you bring up Annie because I was thinking about it the other day and because I, I was thinking exactly that. I'm like, this is the stuff we used to do all the time, you know, to, just to play. But I haven't done it in so long. I just, it, It's just client work and client work and client work. And, you know, we got to get back to – I got to get back to just – Word, I mean, I've seen all these people do some such cool stuff like Annie and Shannon and, and, and Tammy and Jen and all these people doing just like stuff for them. And I'm going, mm-hmm. oh, wow, that's awesome. And, you know, who cares if our clients don't like it? You know, right. yeah. I mean, and I that's like what it. That's I do with my model team this year. Yeah. That's the goal with my model team. It's like I'm creating stuff for myself. In fact, I don't want it to look like senior stuff because – it's going to take away from their order. That's I just want it to point. be out there and stand out and be different. And I've gotten so many 
like requests and comments this year. It's like, oh my gosh, you're like this, you're crushing it, you're crushing it. It's like, cause I went back to doing the creative things that I wanted to do, but I just either run out of time or just like, ah, I'll just do that. I'll set up a separate session. Then it, you know, never happens. Never happens. Of that's so, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I, and some of the stuff I showed you guys the last couple of days, I did that on Sunday. That's great. Did a little yeah, bit it on Monday awesome. too. It was, it was awesome. Um, yeah. yeah Colorful. Just, and I hate, I hate working on the weekends. I don't shoot on Sundays, but. But that wasn't really work. Get, Come on. I know it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah. I needed, I needed a shake the COVID off. Yeah. session yeah. so i brought in um my friend who's a, a good model um ellie who by the way we had set up this shoot for march of uh 2020 middle of march 2020 we had this makeup artist i'd never worked with before right. ellie's gonna come in we're gonna do all this really cool stuff and, and then we got shut down yep so this is how many months later 15 months later whatever we Crazy. finally got the shoot in and it was it we crushed it we crushed it. It was nice. fun. Yeah, you awesome. Did. It was, Shot it was almost awesome all day. And you guys haven't even seen half the stuff yet either. Whoa, well, <laughs> come on. Get on it, man. I, I want to see this. <laughs> I, I shot 1,189 images. No. What do we see? What do we I see? I believe Dan? it because you're like, Three. Giddy, you're like, click, click, click. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to I was, do anything. I was shooting behind the scenes. and oh, Yeah, that's because no I was shooting with the Sony. It was tracking the eye. I was like, I'm not even looking. Click, 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 click. <laughs> and I looked at those shots. Uh, they all sucked. <laughs> oh well yeah but it was the fun at the time but yeah don't cost was. nothing yeah no no I like Just, film. right right well so i went i went through and um of 1189 my selects at 235 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah oh my gosh bad. so and they're all nice. good well i say i had a kind of a funny thing but it's not word related so we'll just let it go but um, yeah. Okay. Back to wardrobes. Dan, what do you wardrobe. do? Back to wardrobe. What do you well, do? So I do things a little different. I first of all, I consider the clothing consultation a pre-sales oh, appointment. Right. You're always <laughs> um, selling. I want them to come to the studio. I want to look at their outfits. I don't care about their outfits. It doesn't <laughs> matter to me what they bring. <laughs> um, sort of. But it's another chance for the parent and the senior to come in, to see the studio space, to look at the albums. I mean, I do the clothing consultation in the same place I do my in-person sales. I have a little rolling rack that I roll right in there. So they're seeing the, the wall art, the clusters, the canvas stuff, and there's no pricing on anything. So they're like, a lot of times the parent, will, and she sits down, and she's flipping through the albums. I'm going through the outfits. And then, like, I really like this. I really like that. So they're getting seeds planted in their head again um, because we already, already went through some of that stuff. And then I can start to say, this looks good in nature and that, and this can look good in urban and start to plan a session. It also helps reel in the session sometimes because someone would be like, I want to go here. I want to go there. I wonder they want to do everything that's cool that they've seen on my website. I'm like, well, we can do that, but we have the two hour session. So you're going to have right. to add on to your session. And those are all conversations that are good to have. And I always do it a week before the session because you do it sooner or things are going to change. They're going to be like, I found this other outfit. <laughs> you know, it's like they come in with five different outfits than what you met with them originally. Yep. So, Which happens. so I kind of use does. it as a pre-sale <laughs> thing, you know, and as they're looking at the album, they see nature stuff and they see urban, they're starting to, to, to understand that in the process. And it also builds confidence and like, oh, yeah, I, I don't need to do anything from a parent standpoint you know, Dan's going to take care of it all. Um, and a lot of times they buy something new. I, the tags are on it. I can see, and I can see it see-through. I'm like, um, we want to make sure that we have everything covered yeah. here. And so it gives them time to get proper undergarments attire. And, and attire and stuff like that. Um, that's, that's a good point. Do you guys yeah. make a Make a point of that in your consultations Absolutely. or in your literature to make sure that you've Both. got Both. the yeah. proper undergarments, the proper for every outfit, bras, yep. strap yep. and strapless, yep. yeah. work booty from, shorts if you're wearing short dresses. Work from nothing shoes. out on every outfit, and I tell mom that usually. I said, "Mom, you know, relay this to your daughters, so or you don't get embarrassed or whatever." But from nothing out on every outfit, because every outfit's different. Some the next outfit you put on might not work. The undergarments might not work for what's yeah what's next so you know make yeah. sure everything fits because when you get here 
and you're going, oh, geez, this isn't going to work, and these straps are showing, and this. Yeah. Get can it all you right. Photoshop that? No, no. no. <laughs> can I? We talked yeah, about it. Like can we? Yes. No, no. Yeah, and that's why. I, yeah, I also send out a, and and I just revised it this year. I revise it every year, but a whole clothing tips and yep. it's and I tell them do Pinterest boards of things that you like that you don't like. Like I want to get as much information as I can from that and, and relate to them, but. Like I said, when I started this conversation here, started like talking about it, it's like, ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. What I noticed last year is that people like we talked about Shannon and this and that, like, oh, these girls are coming with awesome outfits. It's because they're instructing them yes. on what to bring as well. So um, what I found interesting with COVID last year with the malls being shut down, a lot of people were like, I don't know where I'm going to shop to get clothes because they're used to just going to the mall here. They are starting getting things online and I was really, I was sending them websites and interesting things and the outfits that were coming in were awesome. And it's like, you know what? Yeah, we control everything else. We're controlling the light and the backgrounds and the locations and the time of day. Why aren't we controlling the outfits? Somewhat. We should be. You yes, know, definitely. it's like, I'm not trying to, and I tell them that I'm not trying to, um, have you wear something that isn't you, but this is special. It's something unique. It's different. It's a turning point in your life. Let's, let's like make a big deal out of it. And part of that is important with accessories and wardrobe, something that's going to look cool. And it's not something you might wear every day. You probably aren't going to wear it every day, but it's going to look darn cool. And you need a hat. They and, should have a lid. You know, they lid, need a lid. lid. They need the, the the, well, the hey, I, I, I started a style closet right. a couple of years ago. Well, it started with some sunglasses. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this year I upgraded. I have a couple of cool hats that uh, <clears throat> um, Jen Lewis helped me pick out when she was in town. Uh, so we made a target run. Yeah. And there, I, I knew I wanted a black, like, indie type hat. And I'm like, God, because that just makes sense. It I can, can fit hook with you everything. Up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have one now. Oh, but right. then she picked out, like, this straw hat. And I'm like, I'm not sure about this, but I'll trust you. And all the girls are loving that straw hat. So I'll give a shout out for Jen. And wow. That's when Carl, when you were in town, Grace. Yeah. That's the one she's like, yeah, I'm going to wear that, <laughs> yep. you know, yep. that straw hat. So it look good. Um, and I just did a senior film last week and the girl brought in mom's like, bring this cowboy hat. She's like, I'm not wearing this cowboy hat. <laughs> Mom told me to bring, bring it. it. <laughs> and then. She had a black hat and then like a floppy straw hat. But she's like, I like your straw hat better. I'm like, wear it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's here for. It's yours. Yeah. I, actually, I actually got a hat rack that is um, – it's very small footprint on the floor. But it's got all these like little uh, little semicircles on it that you just put the hats on. You can spin them around in multiple tiers. Ooh. I have that sitting in the changing room. Ooh, I want one of those. So it's like, you know, it's a suggestive thing. It's like they'll come out they get they change their outfit and they're like – a lot of times I come out, I was like, can I wear this hat? That's what it's there for. Yeah. You know? Ooh, I like it. Nice. We need yeah. more hats. Put on a lid, man. <laughs> and and that's, I mean, those things are, yeah, easy. Just put it on. If they, yeah. Take a couple shots. If they don't like the image. Throw it off. You know. They aren't going to buy it. Yeah. Right. You but know? it's fun. And they don't need to buy it. Or it's, a, or, if it's, or it's an image that I want. You know, that's cool. So, so yeah, I think I'm trying to take more control over the wardrobe this year and really push them into certain things. Um, and when someone comes in with something cool, I'm like, where'd you get this? I'm like, right in the website down. Can I buy it from you? Know? you? <laughs> um, right. You know, I, I mean, yeah. Well, they probably How much would. for your clothing? I, I'd like to buy yeah. your clothing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not the, creepy. Take the dress <laughs> no, off your back. Creepy. Wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's, that yeah. doesn't sound right. No, <laughs> not at all. But yeah, I mean, take control over it or like i was talking to a parent the other day and i said amazon amazon's got great flowy dresses they're yep. very inexpensive i have a whole mm -hmm. um list on amazon of dresses i send to them like here's you know and and the parents like yeah you know what's cool is we can wear it and send it back <laughs> <laughs> prime prime <laughs> yeah. but it's only twenty dollars you know it's not like it's you know it's like a 50 or 100 dollar dress and if you buy that at the mall, you can't take dresses back. They no. won't let you. Except you know. for American Eagle, they do. 
they let you bring stuff back, even if you take it out of the package. We found that out last week or two weeks ago. <clears throat> um, speaking of like where to get places, I, I know this is a place where a lot of girls get things. It's Shine, S H E I N. You guys checked it out, looked out there. I haven't. No. Oh yeah, that's actually where a, a lot of uh, a lot of influencers get their and clothing there. Influencers. Um, but I actually, I've I've bought a bunch of things there. I have because um, I you know beyond seniors, I do some fashion stuff. I do some things for um, you know with models to try to promote some of the Molite products. So I, I I just have a ton of jumpsuits that I just got in because you know if nothing else, throw them in a jumpsuit. But mm -hmm. um, you can also find things like this. I'm showing. Eh, where's my camera? There we go. Hey, that's cool. That's colorful. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's cool. I bought I bought five dresses kind of like this, different looks, di whatever. Did the sunglasses bill, come with it? Ninety three dollars. No way. Wow. Ninety three dollars. Wow. Shine. S H E I N. Wow. Now you can go out there and and they have some really cool gowns and stuff that are one hundred and fifty. But you know, I just look and try to find okay what looks cool for a photo shoot. I don't care. It doesn't have to you know stand up to an all day wearing. I just want it to look cool for a couple of photo shoots, and if it's twenty bucks, great. Yeah, no kidding. Well, and and that's a question a lot of people ask too. Is like, well, what size do I get? You know, mm -hmm. cause, Ooh, yeah. But with a photo shoot, you can easily clip it, you know, and clothes pins are the great. Size, cause, yeah. yeah, I don't like clothes pins. I get no? the little the little metal clips from Home Depot by with the, the clamps. You mean clips? the ones for like like instead of paper clips or they use the binder clips? No. Or what do you mean? No, I don't like those either. I what think you, those suck. Which those ones? black ones? Yeah, which what do you, yeah, what do you mean? You, end up, you have to Photoshop those out all the time. Yeah. Okay. Well, you go to you go to Home Depot. Yeah. In the clamp section. Yeah. You got the big pipe clamps. You right. got the squeeze clamps. You yeah. got the a big clamps, little A clamps. A clamps, yeah. They're real tiny. They're like this big. Little yeah. tiny A clamps? I actually on my A's yeah, they look like, hey, yeah. yeah. I actually have like two or three of them always, if you watch again on SU Insiders, like the, when I'm shooting, you'll see the spider holster. I have a few of them. They're just clipped right on my spider holster oh, because. Ooh, good call. Yep, they're handy. It's like, boom, yep, clip, you know, because someone comes in with a flowy shirt or something and doesn't have good shape to it. It's like, oh, we're going to just pull that behind you, clip. Yep. And I, they're super tiny. You don't even have to Photoshop them off a lot of times. Yeah, because there's – I see, I always used to use Maybe a staple hidden. gun, but, you know, that got a little old after a while. <laughs> I really could have used you know, that last night. I mean, we had one that – veils and stuff. She had one of those one of those dresses that it, you, it may as well have been a gunny sack, you know, because it, like, lays flat. And I'm like, you could see no shape of her whatsoever. I should have done that. I should have yeah. just – Is it one of those Target it. Prairie dresses that uh, they came That's out with? That's what it looks like. I don't know. I, <laughs> it's a – a one inch anvil spring clamp. Ooh, <laughs> there you go. Spring clamps. Got Three quarter it. inch on, uh, Amazon Three anvil too. spring clamp. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can get them. You can get them on Amazon too. I mean, yeah, I I buy them. You know, I have I'm them gross. all over. There's a few in my truck. There's there's a few in my spider holster. There's a few in my camera bag. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're all over the place because because huh. you end up forgetting about them too, and all yeah. of a sudden the girl goes home and it's still oh, clipped to them. Clamp. Yeah. Still clipped to them. Yes. Yeah. That's how they, they uh, go into the dressing room with clothespins all the time. Like, uh, did you need this back? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, yeah. truth be yeah. told, that's how almost every fashion shoot goes. That's I mean, right. Rarely do any of the designer outfits perfectly fit the models. So they're they're clamped and clipped and duct taped and <laughs> and glue sticked and whatever together. I mean, yeah. even sometimes for runway stuff. I mean, it's crazy. Speaking of equipment... Boy, did more light, more light gear save my ass. Wait, I didn't say it. Save my butt. Say that. Oh, yeah, we it's, say it's, it. it's after it's after eight o'clock. Well, it is. Know, so it is. We're in adult uh, time now. This is the, mo this is the adult swim. Mo light gear has been saving my butt the last few sessions, and dang, really? even out of, just straight out of camera, I'm going. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. We could have <laughs> never done this with all out natural light, and no one heard me say that right, but. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. but you could have, wow. but it would have taken longer. It would have taken. And I could have had longer. the backgrounds that they needed, that they wanted, that was important right. to them, the covered bridges and the golf course that they built during COVID. Um, I, we had an amazing guy session. And they built a golf. They course. built a golf course, a nine hole, right. and it is gorgeous. I mean, it, it rivals anything I've ever seen before. 
And hmm. yeah, we're out there at sunset. I'll, I'll share some images with you. I'll, maybe I'll put some on our Molite or the, the um, uh, photo happy hour Facebook page. Whatever this podcast is what called. What is this? What is this called? What are we, what what are we, are we doing? Putting, what are we doing again? <laughs> <laughs> the photo happy hour podcast i didn't wear my shirt Speaking of which, i didn't wear my shirt the photo happy hour podcast is brought, to, is you brought by... to you in part by red curl creative copywriting services for photographers and wedding professionals kim from red curl creative speaks your language keep listening when we'll have a special offer sometime totally random during the podcast as a matter of fact let's hear it's more about right it now. she right actually now. she actually wrote me really well or good or words for some things for my website uh, last week, and it was awesome. We'll, 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 we'll talk about that after oh, after we okay. play her ad. Okay, we'll play wait. Right now. Ready, play. Play I'll ad. hit play. Wait, and wait, hit play. Play. And on video here, <laughs> we're not playing the ads. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm on the. Wait, what was it? Uh, uh, was a movie I just watched the other day again. Um, the hosers, <laughs> the hosers, eh? You know, from the Northwoods. Up north there, eh? No. The, the, I thought I was going to say. Strange Brew? You feel like Strange you're watching Brew. I watched, Strange Brew. I actually watched Strange Brew the other day. My, my cousin came up and I'm like, dude, we got to watch Strange oh Brew. I, so I found it on Amazon and I downloaded the sucker. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Did you follow it up with Beer Fest right after? No, we were we drank movie. plenty of beer during, not after. <laughs> we, we took care of that during the movie. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Funny. It was just... It, I forgot how funny some of those things, some of those parts were on that movie. But anyway, that I have not seen in many years. It's been it was a long time since I'd seen that, but twelve dollars well worth it. <laughs> twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. That's not good. Twelve dollars. I would have thought that would have been like a ninety nine center. I thought Are it was you Amazon kidding me? Free. It's just this is like a classic, eh? We gotta you gotta pay the big bucks for that one. <laughs> so the, so we're the actor sitting in his <laughs> sitting at it at his couch house and ding yeah. he got franchise who the hell bought that <laughs> <laughs> yeah royalties <laughs> <laughs> quick quick side oh tangent um when i worked in advertising the our pr director was one of the former um band uh, mates of butch vig you know who butch vig is right oh, we shouldn't see no um, Butch Vig actually produced all the Nirvana albums. Oh, okay. And right. um, he was oh, also. Oh, no wonder why I don't know him. <laughs> oh, he was. He's also the head guy for Garbage, the band Garbage. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, so, I don't know. Out of Madison. So anyway, the band before he formed Garbage and did all the Nirvana stuff was called Firetown, and they had a couple of hits in like the '80s. So the guy I used to work with was one of the members of Firetown, and he said like. Every couple of months, he'd get a royalty check from like Sweden, <laughs> where they were playing some Firetown so songs. So you get like a check for eighty nine cents. <laughs> I would buy you half a drink. <laughs> I know. It's pretty funny. Oh my God. Uh, anyway, so oh my something God. new we're trying this week. We actually posted uh, what our topic was out to our Photo Ooh. Happy Hour podcast Facebook group. And we got comments. And some people. People shared some questions, so let's an, let's let's uh, let's handle some of the questions. Uh, Dan, would you read the name of the first? <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> both people, both, both people are, are in that Facebook group posted. <laughs> no. and that wasn't one of them. Well, what I, I, did, what I, I was laughing about is that I, I joke that you're going to have to pronounce everybody's <laughs> name. And it was like just about everybody who posted had a difficult name. So. It's difficult, exactly. I'm like, is this actually, set up or what? Actually, so it's not the, like a the Karen. The first one, <laughs> exactly. The first one is actually the name of a client of mine up here, um, Saint Ange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So her question was from Marietta Saint Ange. Saint Ange. Say Saint -Ange. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you include in a style guide for guys? A razor. We don't talk about girls, but you know, we have guy clients too, right? Yes. You know, a razor. Yeah, the razor is a, a razor a is an excellent <laughs> comment. Yeah. I, I was semi joking, but somewhat serious about no. that, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. you need hats. You know, guys need hats. Hats? Cool hats. You know, what, like, you, yeah. know what, you know what guys need lately? I hate to say it. Whitening strips. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't yeah, know it, it, what I is going that. on. For the longest time, it was like the whitest freaking teeth every year, and then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. starting is to... it 
is it coffee. The, is it the coffee, the well, monster, the Red Bull? Like what, what all are these of it. kids? All of it together, I think. Well, Nobody all went these... to the dentist during COVID. I think that's part that of it. That might be part of it. No, too, no, but... this has been for this is before COVID. And oh, really? I was like, Can you wipe my teeth? And it's like, mm -hmm. and I don't Can notice it. And I get in the Photoshop, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, who needs it? They yeah. are though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a really so. good idea. But biggest of course, tip I give the then. guys is bring more than one shirt. And and yeah. and, and not <laughs> and, all of them the same Metallica. Blue. Or black with Metallica on the front of it. Usually yeah. they have like one in each hand. And, yeah, here's my outfits. They're wearing one and they have two that all say the same band name on it. Two of them are crumpled up, you know. I said this uh, to one guy. guy. This was, Good boy. Good boy. This is a fair number of years ago now I think about it. But I said, okay, bring at least bring more than one shirt. So he brings two shirts. They're both white polos <laughs> with blue stripes. Oh, hey, but what was I had to look at him go... I looked at him, and I mean, was, you know me, a little sarcastic. I'm like, are these the same shirt? <laughs> no, that one's got thicker stripes. Oh, okay. It does. You're right. Good okay. call. Good Let's call. wear that one first. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm, what wow. should we start with? That's yeah. a tough decision. Here. Uh, let's see. It's time to change things up. How about we wear the other identical shirt? Yeah. So so maybe what we need to do is have a style closet for guys. We're all worried about dresses and that. Yeah. We don't need to style these girls. No, they <laughs> they, like, they care more. They they bring stuff. They bring all yeah, kinds of stuff. We need we need we I think start what something I'm gonna do a guy style closet. I'm gonna actually I think I'm gonna start my style closet with one of the commercial grade garbage bags. We can just like punch out the arms of it and it can be like black and we can like Pull it back to us, wherever we want, with with you know, dance punk. a clips yeah. or whatever they call them, and <laughs> it be, is cheap. I mean, got, be, I got a box I invented of 50. the, I invented the piano key tech guy. <laughs> I invented. You, I was just gonna go there. <laughs> hey, that was a Presenting reference. That, totally a reference. <laughs> Wow. You have to watch the video now. You to gotta see watch my the video. Right. You must kill the Prime Minister of Malaysia. <laughs> Malaysia. So in case you're wondering, folks, uh yeah, sometimes Relax. it gets a little crazy Don't and off it. on a tangent here, but Oh yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Wheel back oh, we're in guys. Cracking Wheel ourselves back up in. and if anybody else laughs with it, bless you. That's right, yeah, exactly. Yes. So yeah, but uh, guys though, you're right. I mean what what do you add for a guy's wardrobe that I mean T-shirts, jeans. Jackets. Oh, jackets. you know what? Okay. What every guy. Watch do... American Idol or The oh, yeah. Voice. Oh, they yeah. always have jackets on. Jackets. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. And sometimes and... they're bizarre. I mean, look at the stuff that um, uh, John Legend was wearing this year. And, uh, I mean, some of them were pretty colorful. I'm talking about the, not the, not the stars, oh, the oh, singers. Oh, you know? oh, them. Oh, those because people. Because that's the yeah. age group. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Something, something. I think every guy, especially if you're doing any studio work, in uh, looks good in plain white dress shirt, black tie, loose. You know, you can do a lot of stuff in the studio just with that look. You know, I have a tie. I'm not uh, sure where it is. Yeah, but I think I have one. I think so. I don't know. A clip on? No, no. I, I think I had a real <laughs> it's tie. To, it's hard to wear a clip on tie loose. You just loose. You just yeah, you just put it on the, lo next button. the lower just button. Like, just <laughs> yeah, yank on a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> unzip it a little it sticks bit. Out, it sticks out like this. Yeah, unzip it. My father-in-law always wears zipper ties. Blesses. So, oh no! But, um, <laughs> <zip>. <laughs> I love it. Uh, love a lovely it. person, but uh, a zipper yeah, tie wearer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unreal. I mean, I mean, do you, yeah, would I you mean, put guys... a tie? In? I, I don't, I don't care for ties. To me, a tie screws up a photo. Because it splits it right down the middle, you know. I well, mean, that's why you wear it loose. That's you know, true. That's a good point. Just yeah. You kind of have the you know the old little throwback Rat Pack uh, black and white kind of look. Yeah. Kind of Kevin okay. Bacon foot loose. Yeah. See. And and, mm. and ooh, we we're back to bacon again. That reminds me, I didn't eat lunch yet. I want bacon. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like almost nine o'clock. <laughs> it's been a long afternoon, all right? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Damn softball So what players. was a, what was another question that came up? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I guess I started down this path. Like, uh, <laughs> you did. Um, let's see. How do you distribute the style guide? Is it a mailing to everyone, just clients who booked? How? This is from Heike O'Day. 
Yeah, but but Heike, I think the style guy or style closet that you're talking about is something that's physical on premise, right? I mean, that's what. Well, but there's also a, sty- a lot. Of, a lot of studios do a style guide. Oh, where they're, they're I have a style guide. Printed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I have it online. I do too. It's actually part of my. It's actually website. part of my whole senior packet. Yeah. Okay. So. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do it as a as a welcome packet now. I mean, I'm not going to send it to everyone because I'm not going to give someone else ideas <laughs> ideas for some other to go place. to a different photographer. Like, oh, this is great. You know. Exactly. So, yeah. That's so a good once point. they book. You know, then I let them know. I have a whole welcome packet. What comes next? Clothing tips. What happens if it rains? Frequently asked questions. G- give me your credit card. I'm going to charge <laughs> yeah. it, you know, yeah. 10 grand. We're going to make well, a, yeah. We want to make money. <laughs> you signed your life away to That's me. That's right. Here. You're whole, not going to join the, the style army. style guide but... thing is a selling point. It's like when you book with me, we'll provide you with a style guide. Oh, good call. You know, that gives yeah. all kinds You're of tips not gonna on have to worry what about to wear. It. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll help you through the process. Yes. I tell everyone, you know, Good news is, is you have me through the entire process. Bad news is you, you have, have me through, through the, entire the entire process. process. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, here's a, yeah. here's a great one. Style Closet Items is from Louise Gunderson Scheiman. Oh, That's Dan was supposed to say that. That's uh, right. I, I never, I actually, she's a good Mo-like customer. I don't know if it's Shimon or Scheiman. So, Louise, tell me how to pronounce your last name. Um Style closet items, to what extent do you clean them between clients who use them? We just burn them That's afterwards. That's a good question during times of COVID. It is. Um, it is. I, you know, just a normal washing in it with hot water, I think. Well, it depends on the on the outfit because some things just can't some, be cleaned that way. You can dry a lot clean. of these, like, yeah. flowy dresses, you can't no. wash. Yeah. No. So. The only, yeah. The only, I don't really have that. So yeah. I have some hats I can spray them up with disinfected yeah you know but oh i have the the parachute dress i mean that's an old standby Ooh, that's you know, right uh, i got i uh, loaned that out that's... a couple of weeks ago i forgot about that i gotta get that back yeah. <laughs> but that i just kind of spray as well but yeah i guess mm-hmm. if you have a dress dress i don't have dresses that people borrow so i have a tip for everybody then Ooh, all right tip. wait uv wands you uv wand it because that'll de covid it oh no way if that's what you're worried yeah I want you one. Just, you gotta, yeah. Can we use it like lightsabers um, too afterwards or no? Oh yeah, yeah. It, actually, anything like that I turn on is always automatic. Like a one. It's like when you pick up tongs. Between UV wand and Febreze, you got a lot of things covered. Interesting. All right. When you when you pick up tongs to grill, you have to do a minimum of a double click. Oh, absolutely. And then it's a clack clack, and then a spin. Yes. Spin. Clack clack. <laughs> yeah <laughs> got it <sighs> just like a, what was it the uh, tombstone when he's doing the shot glass spin spin <laughs> oh do you guys remember the video i sent you guys which one yeah of the tiktok video where the guy uh redubbed yeah. over it oh yes yeah. yes yes yeah that was i'd put it i'd put a link to that on our our podcast page but some people might be offended. Anyway, um, you don't put that in let's there. Let's see. How do you communicate to clients clients that you have a style closet that they can use? How do you re- relate to them what it is and what's in it? And I listen to your podcast all the time. Michael, you're the best. The other two guys are okay. Um, <laughs> that part wasn't in. And she said, from, make sure you give me a shout out. <laughs> that's, that's Jody Holbrook. Oh, yes. Thanks, Jody. Appreciate it. Love you, too. Thanks, Jody. Love you, too. Yeah, I'll give you a, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a good question. I um, c- Because most of my style closet is a little bit more fashion model related, um, I do. I do have a. Um, it's not a direct. It, it's have to has to be a direct link to it. But I do have it on my website where people can go see what all the clothing options are, and I'm going to make that available for seniors. But I did make it make it very clear in there that most of these were procured for models, so they're all Size zero. extra small yep. and small. Yep. Yeah. So I am um, some of the new dresses I'm getting in. I'm getting some larger sizes in too, just to have some more options. But um, yeah, it's hard to put a large on a size zero. It that... is. <laughs> it is. Unless you add two together and use Dan's A clips and then put them. You know, yeah. um, you <laughs> know what? You, we've been Anvil. we've been talking about uh, senior wardrobes and stuff, I, and I don't really have a lot. 
for a wardrobe for seniors. Uh, to me, I, I just do what they bring in. But I do have a wardrobe dresser full of things for families when they come in. So I have from sizes from toddler up through teenagers of, of just plain black long sleeve shirts, denim shirts, green shirts, brown shirts, gray shirts, things like that, because we get families coming in and, you know, there'd be one kid that's in the wrong damn thing, <laughs> darn thing. And it just screws up everything. So, uh, I, I, I do keep a lot of sizes of a lot of things for families, uh, ready to go. So that way it keeps it simple and keeps people, um, it keeps a family consistent throughout in the, in their wardrobes. But, um, so that's something that's not hard. And, and actually, if, if you're looking, this is actually kind of fun. If in your town you have a place that does screen printing, uh, like T-shirt screens or uh, sweatshirts or whatever, um, they order – all the stuff they order is plain before they put their stuff on it. You know, they, they put all the stuff on it at their own shop. But they order it. It's all plain. So if you're – guest or your client is looking for say a family portrait and you want to try to get everybody matched to a, uh, a color and a style go to your screen printer in town <laughs> and have them order right from them and then afterwards say okay if there's something you, you know you're not going to wear again or you think you're not going to wear again just have them imprint something on it your favorite your high school team or your favorite whatever um but that way you have something to Photo do with happy it. Hour podcast. That would be really wonderful. If you <laughs> really, And we wouldn't mind that at all. Um, our, although it's a copyrighted, Michael, we, we'd send it to him. I think we, would you send it to him? Promotional. Promotional. Write, yeah, yeah, write it off. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. But, it's... but, but check out because they, they have access to all kinds of different styles. And if, if the family's having a hard time finding something that fits for everybody in the same style, it's a great, great venue to go to, to, to make that happen for, little kids all the way up to adults and then you can do something else with it later if you want to but it's it's easy access yeah. well Not and i don't idea. want them to match so <laughs> i'm like sending things out be like but with i send things like i tell them the best thing to do is and i actually picked a bunch of them up again home depot you know i know i mentioned this before but home depot is a photographer's paradise all right it is. <laughs> but you go to the paint section and you go through and you pull out, here's warm color tones, yep. here's cool tones, here's fresh, bright color tones, and they have all the colors that go together. So it's like, okay, it's fall, I'm in there, ding, 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 and I send it to, or I give it right to them. Yep. Here's color tones. You got browns, burgundies, you know, a sage green, like if, as long mm -hmm. as people are in this, this color harmony you're, of family, you're good colors, to go. it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good to go. They don't have to be matchy-matchy, nope. but... If it's for fall colors. Color tones. Yep. If it's for fall colors. Yeah, but a spring, so you have the yep. brighter colors. Yep. Here's the spring color guide. Yep. Uh, you know. And I think Gary Box even put things together like that where he's got mm -hmm. like a Pinterest board of here's the family and here's the swatches of color. Yep. You know. I mean, I plan on doing that, but I don't have time for it. So <laughs> I just go to Home Depot in the fall and be like, Here you go. Grab the paint samples. <laughs> it's free. It's, it's free. Grab the paints. It's like yeah. those. Also, that, it's I nice because they could take it home and put it on their wall. Because yeah. it's like if they're picking colors, like what's going to look at in your home? Right. Take these these paint samples. Well, and that's a good point. And it works for seniors and for for families too. Part of wardrobe, even with especially for families, you know, the first question they're like, "Well, what color should we wear?" Well, what are your walls and where are you going to hang it? I mean, we don't want to bust our butt creating this this wonderful masterpiece if the colors that they're wearing and the colors of the scene don't match their living room or wherever it is they're putting it. So where are you going to put it? What's in there? Is it earth tones? Is it, is it contemporary? Is it, what is it? And I mean, that really makes a huge difference as to what we recommend as far as clothing is concerned or, or coordination is concerned. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I do have to specify though, when I say like sage green, because I'm in Green Bay, Wisconsin, that doesn't mean a, a collared Packer shirt. Whoa, wait, oh, come on. That's not Sorry, so I, I love yeah. the Packers, but you aren't, don't don't be bringing that to the floor. Actually, we've, we've had several Packer <laughs> Unless families. Unless we have a Packer actually theme. Yes, we've had okay, several but, of those, even up here in the yeah. UPA. Eh? Yeah. 
because yeah i mean that's that's going out that, that's a friday night in wisconsin it's like hey i'm dressing up i'm going for a fish fry to the supper club i'm gonna have my collared packer shirt on Darn right it's my t-shirt got three buttons on it for sunday for church you gotta you know or you wear your church. good jersey you know yeah well, you're, heck, you're, 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 you're good Favre jersey. Our, our pastor used to wear a, a good a good uh, Packer jersey during football season and during church. And <laughs> he, 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 at the end, he we God bless the Green Bay Packers, and <laughs> and he was a and he was a Lions fan, <laughs> which oh, wow. I had, we always teased him he about. He was playing that. to the audience. Absolutely, he <laughs> yeah, was. Yeah. He, yeah. he knew, he knew he the knew, room. He knew the room. He knew the room. <laughs> We well, if he was wearing it. if he was wearing his green Packer jersey, then he knew it was ordinary liturgical time. <laughs> there you go. That's a Catholic joke. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> but I'm not Catholic. <laughs> yeah, you oh, lost me on that one. Lost yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My the Catholic listeners will get that one. It's like, oh, green. It must be an ordinary time. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So what else we got on this? Do we have any what else we got on this? But us. Hey, I think what do you, what what do you tell what do you tell your, your seniors about jewelry or hair uh, or makeup? You know, if they're doing their own, if you're if, oh, you, if I, you're not doing hair I or makeup, great, what do you tell them? I have a great tip. Okay, I have a great tip. <clears throat> so what I tell them for accessories, rings, necklaces, bracelets, all that kind of stuff. Put it in a Ziploc bag for each outfit. Stick it through the hanger Ooh. and hang it with the outfit. I like it. A, it doesn't get tangled. Yes. B, we're not going to forget it because when you pull that next outfit out, guess what? All your accessories are with that outfit. I like it. Because how many times does this happen? All the time. You're shooting and all of a sudden, oh, I forgot to change my earrings. Right? Which your hair or covers up anyhow, but yes. All they, right. They, Right, they carry yeah, exactly. That's uh, you're not gonna see it. The hair is fine, and then <laughs> they and then or they pull out their their case of jewelry, <laughs> and everything's tangled. Stuff's yes. falling. Light, we're losing light. You know, because yep. they're putzing around with putting. It, just put a necklace on. Let's go. Or leave it. Put them all no, on. Yeah. <laughs> put them put two all on. Madonna, yeah. it. come on. Come on, Mr. T. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yes. I pity the fool who wastes my time. Wait for that Waste my time with the sun go down. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then uh, when and then the, then we get out there and the light's just right. Oh, I love it when a plant comes together. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was last night. Oh my gosh! And then when they're changing, they slide the the door open on the van and jump out. Da, 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 da. I'm ready Wait. for my session. That was totally a reference. I totally. had like four references in there, Carl. <laughs> I know, but I'm almost done. It's almost what's, gone. What's oh, your okay. prediction for this photo shoot? Pain. <laughs> Pain. Rocky. Rocky four. Oh my gosh. I must I'm sorry, Rocky shoot three. you. Rocky Four was. I must, uh, I must shoot you. I must break you. <laughs> oh, Go man. for it. Anyway, anyway, so I think we're out. We're, I think we're into the parting shots time here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess we're just getting slap happy now. <laughs> so first of all, Photo Happy Hour has been sponsored in part by Red Curl Creative Copywriting Services for photographers and wedding professionals. Learn more at redcurlcreative.com, and you can save ninety-seven dollars on Kim's Write Better Words course. Using the code Happy Hour at writebetterwords.com or redcurlcreative.com. That's strong. Do you think that course would help me? No. <laughs> is it hooked on phonics? Or is uh, it... No, it's a, like, I think uh, it's not spell better words, so I think we're okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I need the advanced uh, course. <laughs> the, the, the regular course isn't going to work for me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, I mentioned was I was good. mixing up chocolate martinis at the beginning of the oh, podcast. So chocolate, here's a good, yuck. Ch good chocolate martini. I know you don't like chocolate, I so don't. just close your ears. All right. Um, good chocolate mar martini. Two tablespoons of chocolate syrup, plus more for drizzling. Four ounces of Bailey's. Ooh. Four ounces of chocolate liqueur. Four ounces of vodka. Um, some ice and some shaved chocolate. So you can use that razor that you recommended for the guy's uh, style kit. <laughs> see anyway, how we come um, around to that? Just full see, circle. Yeah, it all connects. Circle. So your directions are you pour some chocolate syrup onto a shallow plate. You dip the rim of the martini glasses into the chocolate syrup to coat the rims. Drizzle a little inside of each glass. And then you combine the Baileys, the chocolate liqueur, and the vodka in a large cocktail shaker. 
Fill it with ice, shake it until thoroughly chilled, about 20 seconds. Divide evenly between glasses because we're making two, or in Wisconsin, we're making Deuce. one. Oh. <laughs> um, and <laughs> if you've the got the shaved chocolate, go ahead, and, go ahead and bikini, bikini wax your chocolate over top, and uh, you've got yourself a great chocolate martini. <laughs> bikini wax it. You know what's good chocolate liqueur is uh, Godiva. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good chocolate liqueur. That's what we used to use at the uh, Top Hat Martini Bar. Yeah, that's, Did you that's ever, the good stuff. Is there anything like caramelish to put with that so it can like taste like a sure. Twix bar or something? You could you could take you could take the exact same thing. You could put some you can put some uh, caramely stuff in there. Heck, you could Carmel. take some caramely. Mix in some caramel sauce with your mix chocolate. Car- Cause, sauce. Cause we used to make. Do you like mint? We would make something called a dirty Girl Scout. Um, <laughs> 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 really? The poor Girl Scouts really? are sitting on. I can't. I can't remember how many that million boxes of cookies. What? Because wait, wait, what, what? the Girl Scouts, yeah, they, they didn't sell as many cookies this year, so they've got like millions of boxes of unsold cookies. I don't know how um, we just bought a, sh- uh, a lot of them from our neighbors. <laughs> This year, uh, shortbread way more full. than we should have. <laughs> yeah, Carl. I mean, yeah. We didn't get it. So, they just need to hike out. They just need to camp out next to the uh, the shop there up by here. Yeah, the, yes. the, get this. Yeah. Thirty <laughs> three hundred. <laughs> three hundred thousand dollars a week, right now through that little shop over there. Three hundred thousand oh dollars a week is going through the doors on average. And and of course now <laughs> there's there's an ice cream place going up right across the street and a donut place going up right across the street. <laughs> I think a taco truck would be taco really smart. Right? Yeah, well, there's a, a barbecue truck. place that's like a block over already. Oh, okay. So, but he was already there, and A and W was right there. So, <laughs> I just, well, wasn't I'm the laughing. rumor wasn't the rumor when marijuana became legal in Colorado that Peyton Manning. That's when he invested in Papa Murphy's pizza. I mean, <laughs> well, I don't know how true that. <laughs> that rumor <laughs> is, but yeah. Oh my sense. gosh! Well, it's it's, it's actually funny because I laugh every time I go by. I'm like, future home of Billy's. Uh, uh, what is it? Ice or not ice cream? It's the the custard stuff or whatever. And and oh, then A sure. and W is right there. And then there's the um, barbecue. The um, I don't remember what they're calling their barbecue place. That's a, actually it's pretty. Pretty darn good barbecue, actually. But uh, Ooh. yeah, we had a good, good one stuff. down in Kansas City two weeks ago. Yeah, the, we went look, to Jack. We went to Jack Stack. Ooh, yes, I've been there before. Downtown. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That was very good. Did you bring any of it back? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> well, they sell they sell some of their their barbecue sauce there. Yeah, but it was like ninety two degrees, and then oh, we ended up walking there yeah. from the World War Mo- One monument because it was like a classic Las Vegas thing. It's like, yeah, we can see it from here. What's we'll this walk? Yeah, it's yeah like right. Walking, it's like uh, in the sun, like uh, water, reading off the concrete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, we were about dead when we got there. So, wow. Yeah. Good no stuff, fun. though. Yeah. It is. So. So. Any parting shots? Or we got it all done? I think we got it. I think we got her done, eh? Yeah. Tell them to wear clothes. Bring clothes. We got clothes. Yeah, that's about it. If you ain't got clothes, we got clothes. If Mm -hmm. we ain't got clothes and you don't have clothes, then why are we doing this? Anyway, so (laughs) till next time. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Cheers. (laughs) Woo. (laughs) What was that? Subscribe now or I'll send you a gift. I'll give you a hint. It's in my diaper and it's not a toaster. I'd like to stay in chat, but Lois has pudding, and I need to go make more gifts for non-subscribers.